What is up, ladies and gents? Welcome to the Big BC Finance Channel. In today's video, we're going to be talking all about Jasme and what I believe is going to happen next with Jasme. I'll be giving you my short term price predictions as well as my long term price target here for Jasme. So be sure to stay tuned for all of that. And at the moment, guys, I do have a little bit of a cold. So sorry if I sound a bit stuffy or unclear um, at any point in this video. I'm going to try my best to be as clear as I can. Of course, if you guys are looking to buy and trade Jasmine as well, then you know what to do. Look no further than our MEX exchange here. This is something that I've been using since the start of my crypto journey. And there's plenty of reasons why I love it. The lowest fees on the market, I believe, and they don't require KYC to start trading. So two of the benefits there. Of course, if you want to support this channel, click in the link in the description down below. It'll take you to this. Just fill out your details, press sign up, and then you're good to go and start trading Jasmine. So just as easy as that thank you guys for your support and let's get started with this video so we're on the jasmine chart right now this is on the one hour chart because honestly my eyes are glued to the screen right now this is absolutely epic for jasmine um, but not even just jasmine the whole crypto market's been quite wild if you've been watching it over the past few days first and foremost we had this dump in fact let me just measure that for you guys to see how serious that dump was 27 percent in two hours there on jasmine that was pretty scary it got down to zero 3.1 cents um so nothing small by any means um but we have recovered extremely quickly from that low there we've actually gained um everything that we lost in that two hour candle we're literally back up once again a 35 percent trade if you caught the bottom um and the whole cryptocurrency market is literally the same as you can see here if I filter that by 24 hour gains, a lot of coins in the top 100 there are double digit green at the moment. So really, really good to see uh, a swift recovery. It goes to show that we're in a bull market. Prices recover quickly. Buyers step in to reverse the selling pressure. And this is what we see on the chart. And Jasmine is a spectacular example of that. And it sits at an important, important level right now. Um, so that's why I've been glued to the screen. And my last video, um, I said that 4.3 cents level was an extremely important level for Jasmine. Uh, and if you hadn't watched my previous video, then I will explain why now. Uh, but for that, we need to go on the one day chart and we draw our resistance that comes across a little bit like this. And let's just see if that's accurate. Yep. So basically, this is a long term resistance here on Jasmine that I've been watching. And it looks like it's still very well respected in the shorter term, because as you can see, apart from these two points where it's been used as a resistance at the start of 2022 and mid 2024, we can see the price kind of interacted with this resistance level. It's obviously important to Jasmine because it pumped up to this resistance, came back down over the next few days and then decisively pumped above it once again. Now, I said we had to keep this level in order for our 70 cents price target to be active here on Jasmine. And unfortunately, we did lose that level, um, but I did give one condition that would save Jasmine. And I said, there would have to be some sort of swift recovery here on Jasmine. If we did lose that 4.3 cents level, it would have to be very, very short term. We wanted to see the prices really pump above this resistance once again. And it looks like that Jasmine has almost basically done that. Of course, what would have been a bit more bearish for Jasmine is if we did something like this, where we came up to it and used it as a resistance once again, because in my opinion, that would have made the prices go lower here on Jasmine. So. I really wanted to avoid uh, this resistance becoming a resistance once more, particularly since we pumped above it. But now on the one hour chart, it looks like we are starting to gain above once again with this decisive candle on the short term time frame. So this is something literally that I'm going to be monitoring as soon as I close this video as well. I'm going to be glued onto the Jasmine screen because it's very important that we use this as a support once more. So maybe something like this, where it even comes down to test 4.3 a few more times before continuing its leg up. But it looks very promising to me. I'm really happy to see the prices are gaining above it. It does look like we're seeing a God candle on the one hour chart right now. So absolutely amazing to see. If you didn't watch my last video as well, um, then the price target from this pattern that I've drawn here, this is a cup and handle. This could also be a head and shoulders, but a lot of you are saying cup and handle. So I will go with it since they're very similar. 
Basically, with this cup, we had this long two-year dome. On Jasmine, there was a lot of downhill and then a lot of uphill, a lot of time for distribution and accumulation to occur. Of course, we reached the neckline here. We had this period, which is the handle, where the price is consolidated a little bit, and then we saw a breakout, and now we'd expect the price target of this cup and handle to be the distance between the neckline and the bottom of the prices there. So I believe the bottom was down here. If we draw it straight to the neckline and drag it to where we saw that breakout from the neckline, you can see that the price target is around the 68 cents level. Now, of course, there is some margin of error to that. So just bear that in mind. I'd be pretty happy to see 60 cents, for example. Uh, and that of course is the price target from what we would expect to see from this bullish chart pattern. Now, along the way, I also said there was probably gonna be some places which could be good take profit levels. And these were previous resistances here on Jasmine. So I said one good level would be the eight cents region. That was just because it was the previous resistance before in 2021. Another possible resistance that we might see is towards the 33 cents level, which was the previous high there at the end of 2021. There could be a lot of liquidity, uh, a lot of selling pressure at any of these levels here. So potentially keep your eyes peeled for if the Jasmine price heads towards, as it could be places where we could see some strong resistance. And of course, if you're looking to trade Jasmine, then these could be potential areas of taking profit. Um, but ultimately, like I say, my long-term price target for Jasmine sits at around the 60 cents level. And that's what I wanna see from this cup and handle pattern here, which I believe is still in play. Now, obviously I'm gonna be, like I said, monitoring the charts. If we do lose this 4.3 cents level, once again, then that to me is quite bearish. Let's just get this back on the auto. So for example, if it does something like this, then my then my theory on this cup and handle is invalidated. It doesn't mean we're going to be bearish here on Jasmine. It just means we need to reconsider what the price target could potentially be in the longer term on Jasmine. Of course, if I get rid of all those drawings. You can see that at the end of the day, we're still on a bullish trend here on Jasmine. We're extremely bullish as a matter of fact, because this is our long-term support trend line, keeping the prices, uh, the trend here on Jasmine in a bullish direction. And at the moment, even with that dip, that 20%, 27% dip that we had um, over the past few days, didn't even come close to the support trend line here. That's how bullish we are on Jasmine. We've literally gone parabolic the, the past few weeks there. Had a little bit of a retrace and buyers stepped in extremely quick on this. So that's really, really cool. I do think another scenario that could potentially occur here on Jasmine is if we see something that looks a little bit like this. This is not something that I particularly want to see too much because it would be a bit weird um, for this previous resistance that I drew at 4.3 cents to kind of not be respected anymore. But if it just so happens where Jasmine kind of consolidates a little bit like this between, um, between the peak here, so let's draw two lines just to demonstrate, between 5.8 cents and 3.1 cents. If we start to see some sort of consolidation uh, here, then we might get another chart pattern that will tell us where the price of Jasmine goes in the shorter term. Of course, like I say, that's not my preferred um, thing to happen because that resistance that I drew at 4.3 cents, this would kind of just intercept it and render it pretty useless. And we obviously need that for our cup and handle pattern uh, to take Jasmine to those highs that I described earlier. So this is not favorable, but if it just so happens, and this is something that I'm also watching out for. Now, like I say, we're still extremely bullish here on Jasmine. There's no need to panic. Some potential things that I do also see in terms of patterns is something that looks a little bit like this. Now, this is something that I'm watching out for, and I really hope it doesn't turn into anything. But as you guys may see, this is a rising wedge, and it's actually a bearish pattern. So. There's plenty of bullish patterns to show us that Jasmine's going higher, but I do want to make it a bit balanced in this video, and I want to show you one that I'm potentially watching out for as well. So let's say Jasmine pumps, uh, continues to pump over the next few days and weeks, and it does something like this, for example, just for example, um, then that would be concerning to me because now this upper trend line would have multiple tests of that resistance and multiple tests of that support. We already have three tests down at the support, so this is kind of established. But if this resistance also gets established with more tests from the price, then this could be a potential um, 
rising wedge. And obviously a bearish implication of that, in my opinion, is something that looks a little bit like this. So once we lose the support from that, so let's say it happens here, uh, May 2025, sell in May and go away. Um, let's say that happens in May 2025, uh, then our price target from the breakdown from this support here, uh, would be 1.5 cents. So if you're looking to trade, that would be an amazing trade to happen, 63%. Um, but of course, if we're, but of course we're long-term bullish here on Jasmine. So this obviously is not an ideal scenario at all. Um, but yeah, just talking about possibilities in general, um, obviously don't wanna leave you guys out of anything if I see them. So manifesting everything bullish here for Jasmine, it's really good that we claimed that 4.3 cents level. If you look at the price now, it's actually at 4.5. We started this video when it was just uh, here at 4.3. So it's really making headways, Jasmine, at the moment. Really happy to see that. Um, like I say, just watch out for what happens if the prices do slump a little bit. We wanna see 4.3 cents hold once again, and then we can make our next leg up towards 8 cents, and then ultimately, and then ultimately in the bull market, 60 cents. So that is basically all I have to say here on Just Me and my thoughts on what's happened at the moment. And of course, I wanna hear your guys' price targets. So comment, so comment them down below. Of course, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video.